Hi! Uh, today I'm going to do a video about these, um, the Stila Road Trip Lip Glaze Trio. Um, I bought these a while back, probably uh, sometime in May, I think, um, at Ulta. And I guess I meant to do swatches of those before, and I threw them in my lip gloss drawer and I kind of forgot about them until today. Um, so, yeah, I like these, um, the lip glaze in general from Stila. I have quite a few of them. Um, this is the first, the fifth set of lip glaze trios that I've purchased from them. Um, I did, uh, the fall, the fall ones, fall foliage, and then they had ones for spring, which I can't remember now what they were called, but they, um, the packaging was like pink and purple. And then this is a summer, um, one obviously because it's themed road trip and it's got like sunglasses and the camera and you know all that kind of stuff really cute packaging um but i only got one set of these i didn't get because usually they do kind of like a cooler and a warmer or um like a matte and a shimmer and these are matte and uh well there's no shimmer in them i guess i should say and uh I just got the one. I think it was an impulse purchase. I was in the checkout line at Ulta because they always have that little, like, little kiosk thingy in there. And uh, when you're standing in the checkout line, that you can look at all, like, the trial sizes and stuff. Um, and I always end up buying stuff then. But anyways, so I got these. Uh, $12 for the three of them. And I think that's a really good price. That's, like, drugstore prices for a high-end brand. So, so that's pretty good. And generally, I'm a big fan of the lip glazes. And uh, they always have a really pleasant smile to me, very fruity. And um, they're pretty pigmented. Uh, I have gotten some that are a little bit on the sheer side. But for the most part, you know, uh, they're pretty pigmented. And they're appropriate with whatever season they're in. Plus, I've actually purchased some individually. Like at Ulta, I don't know if it's still going on, but you could always you could get like three for fifteen dollars. They were like eight dollars a piece or three for fifteen, and uh, I've done that a couple times. So I like them. Um, the only thing I'm finding lately, the more I use them, is sometimes like you'll click and click and click them, and they don't come up. And then all of a sudden, like, you'll have a whole big glob come up all at once. And I kind of don't like that because it's wasteful. And it's a little bit on the annoying side. But it doesn't always happen. It's just with certain ones. Um, and uh, I don't know. It just, it's kind of, it kind of bugs me. But like I said, they don't all do that. So, um, like I said, the packaging is really cute, and I just pulled them out, and it says Ode to the Road and Two Gloss on the Go. You can see that in there. So these three are called, um, let's see, Open Road, Pink Sunset, and Rising Sun. Now, this one is called Rising Sun, and I am wearing it now. So that's this one here. Oh, I'm like glistening. <laughs> it's just so hot lately and I have my air conditioning on but I don't know. So uh, this is the one I'm wearing now. And like I said it is called Rising Sun. This is the color in the tube. And I'll go ahead and click it up. So I can show you what it looks like as it's coming out. There we go. You can kind of see. And then I'll go ahead and just put some on my arm. This one's very pretty. So like a pretty bright pink. Pretty color saturated. Very glossy. No sparkle though. No shimmer in this one. And like I said, that is the one that I have on now. So. Okay. So I'll put the cap back on that. And then the next one is called Open Road. And that's what it looks like in the tube. This one is more of a coral color. I 
I was trying to decide if I thought it was like a pinky coral or an orangey coral, but I just, I, I would just call it just a regular coral, to be honest with you. And then I'll click it up. Now the color that it looks like on the brush might not necessarily reflect what's in there because I actually used this before and I um, put it on over a lipstick. So the brush has a little bit of stain from another color, but I'll go ahead. Oh yeah, this is more definitely of um, like a red coral, I would think, orangey coral. But it's totally fabulous. Very bright, extremely summery. And the name of that one again is Open Road. And then the third one I haven't used yet, and it's called Pink Sunset. And this is more of a like a ro light rose color. Although right here it's kind of showing up a little bit on the purpley side, but it's definitely a rose, like a pale rose. Maybe a hint of lavender. That's not really accurate, the color that it's showing up. And I left this open, um, I haven't opened it yet so that you can see if you've never used these before, this is what they come like. The top has a stopper in them and you just pull that out and toss it and then you have to click to get the color to come up. And the very first time you do it, you have to click a lot, you know, turn the, turn the, uh, the little twisty end quite a few times, you know, so. How about those tigers? I'm from the Detroit area, so you know. Normally I would say how about those wings, but hockey's over and unfortunately the Blackhawks took it, but whatever, we won't go into that because this isn't a sports video, right? It's makeup. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like coming out. And I'll put that on. Actually, we need a little bit more clicked up there. So that's what it looks like coming out. This one's the lightest of the three. There we go. And it's just a pink, like a rose pink color. Bubblegumish, rosy pink. And that's that. That's the three of them. So this one was Pink Sunset. And then the one in the middle is Open Road. And then the one on the end was called um, Pink Sunset. No, this one's Pink Sunset. The one on the end was called Rising Sun. Okay, Pink Sunset, Open Road, and Rising Sun. Which is weird because you kind of expect the coral one to be more one called Rising Sun because it's kind of orangey, but whatever. I don't make the names, but that's that. So good deal for 12 bucks. I mean, like I said, I think that's a great price. It's drugstore prices for a higher end brand. I did purchase these at Ulta, um, and I don't know if they're Ulta exclusives or not, to be honest with you. So... Go ahead and check those out if you're interested in uh, the steel lip glazes. They are very nice. And, uh, like, I don't know if I had to judge them from a scale of 1 to 10. I would say they're at least, like, a 7.5. You know, I really like these. The only thing I don't like about them, like I said earlier, is when you click and click and click and nothing happens. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 it all globs up over the top and you waste a whole bunch. So, other than that, though, they're a good quality product. So, Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see upcoming videos of other makeup cosmetic products. Um, I primarily do Avon, but I do other brands occasionally. And um, so this was one of my other brands. <laughs> All right. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. Have a great one.